What's up guys, Warlog here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another Apex Legends video for you, and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to rotate and get the best position in Apex Legends. Let's do it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you're new here and want to improve your gameplay, get better aim, and other Apex Legends tips, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to position your team better and earn that champion status in Apex. And then I have a live gameplay that showcases all the tips that I'm gonna have in this video. So first things first, what are some general rules that you should think about when trying to position and rotate your team for a gunfight or a location, especially during the end game scenarios? Let's get into the tips. Tip number one is analyzing the map. Get to some cover or a safe spot and have a member of your team Look at the map and consider the following things. Consider the zone, buildings that are in and out of the zone, high ground areas, and then where teams would possibly go or rotate from. This includes identifying the round timer and how many teams are left in the game. Knowing how much time you have before the ring will close on you is very important. Next up is tip number two, identifying enemy teams. After closely considering the map, next is trying to identify enemy teams, meaning get eyeballs on them. Try from your current position where any and all teams are. Scan every direction to see if any teams are in the area. This will help you with tip number one. Oftentimes when seeing a team, each member of my team will ping on an enemy's location so you can see it on the mini map, which makes it a little bit easier to see them, especially when you're trying to figure things out. On to tip number three, deciding when to move. This is one of the most important tips because deciding when to move can make or break the game. Move too early and run the risk of being pinched between multiple teams. Move too late and face a team gatekeeping you, forcing your hand on a spot or putting your team in a location that you didn't want to move to. So, discuss this with your team, pending they have mics, and every team should have mics. Every player should be using mics. I don't know why players don't do that in Apex, but regardless. Make sure each person has mics and figure out when to move based on the first two tips. Tip number four, checking heals and ultimates. This is one of the last steps you take before moving. Double checking with your team how many heals they have is extremely important and may affect how you move. Checking who has syringes, cells, batteries, medkits, etc. If someone is low, share the heals. Also, does each team member of your team have an ultimate they can use if needed if things go south? For example, rape portals, gibby bubbles, zip lines, watts and alts. Make sure your team has full abilities to use in crunch time. On to tip number five in the last tip, set up in a new location. After carefully considering the first four tips and making what would be the best strategic decision with your team, it's time to finally move and set up in the new location. While moving, make sure to keep an eye on enemy teams moving where they go and what abilities are being used by enemies or your team if you need to use any. And set up. Setting up includes any abilities that allow setup, for example, caustic traps or Watson fences. Make sure you're using the most of the area, meaning if you're holding down a building, use the entire building, not just one room. Or an area with multiple boxes, like, like showcased in this gameplay I'm going to show you. Use all of them, not just hide your team behind one box. Doing this allows your team to monitor multiple directions and also shows teams, hey, there's someone there and they can't go there. After doing all five tips, all you have to do is rinse and repeat for moving to any location or rotating in Apex. This applies at any time during the game. Start of the game, mid game, and especially the end game. Now guys, I have a live gameplay which showcases all the tips described in this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helps you out. Let me know down in the comments what struggles you have with positioning and rotating. Now let's get into the gameplay. We got a team right here. Anybody got any some syringes? That case. Yeah, I do. Give me right here. 14 blue. Alright, we need to be careful. A team might be pushed. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm a soul heal. That's a Kraber. One of, one of these guys. Are. Oh, 
The issue is, is that all I have is two batteries left, so we're gonna have to utilize your ultimate for shields. Hey, there's a team right here. All right, so that one team that's right here has a really good spot. We're gonna have to be one of the last teams to rotate in. Okay, the, these are in. We might have to play this. That building is also in. Down there is in. Yeah, but remember that one team is over here somewhere. All right, here's in, right? Is that in? Okay, we might play that. Yeah. That's in. You want me going right up? I'll wait a little bit. Okay, there's a team right here. That's getting shot by a team on top of here. But if we can't shoot, man. We don't have the resources. Oh, at 30 seconds, you want me to go down and start setting that up? Um. Yeah, yeah, that would actually be good. I'm gonna go at 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. This team down to our right has the Kraber. I'm going to hit this care package real quick. They don't see me. That Gibby got this little chunky ass shot. Watch out, War. Back up, homies. Got them. I had to drop my hemlock, man. I grabbed the PK. We Now, that team down there to our right is going to be one of our main concerns. So, we need to hold this spot right here along with that spot. We can't allow this team to rotate towards us. We can't allow it. If they try to push this way in any way, they're still sitting right here. Yeah, right here, right here. They're rotating down. Yep, we just can't allow them to rotate this way. Yeah, I'm gonna watch our left. They're gonna be right here. Is that in? Okay, that's in. That's in. So this team is our threat right now. Be careful, make sure you got cover. They're up top, watch out. Oh, they're up top now? No, no, another team is. Yeah, yeah, that was probably the team that was shooting at him. So right now we have a good rotation. Really good rotation. I'm rotating to you guys real quick. I just got Krabered at. I could probably put my ulti behind that. I think we still hold right here, guys. We don't want this team rotating up behind us and pinching us. We want to wait till last minute to rotate. Yeah, I think we have to hold them. If they went up, that if they went up top, that's fine. But we have to hold them. Yeah, they're down here on the ground still. That's okay. Oh shoot. Give me on us. Yeah, yeah. He, alt, alt right here. Alt right here. Now the problem is, is that team's gonna come up behind us, man. They're, hey, they're right here. Be careful peeking. Be careful peeking. Be careful. That other team's gonna try to shoot at us, man. Is this box in? Yeah, that box is in. Let's take it. Let's take it. Take the box. Watson, get up here and set up. Watch our right. On our right. On our right. On our right. Still watch our right. Watch our right. Watch our right. 
Wraith right here in the corner. Get loot if you need it. One squad, guys. Nice job, man. That is positioning in a nutshell, dude. That is positioning, bro. Let's go, man. That is positioning, dude. Let's go. Let's go, dude.